Honey Fam, Coach Nora here. We are all about balance today. 15 minutes, all balance, all standing, obviously abs, all involved. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you stay tuned to all of our amazing, sunny, fabulous workouts. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey, Sunny Fam. We're going to balance today. It's gonna be super fun. Um, so we're gonna do 30 seconds of all of our movements all on one side, and then we'll go right into the other side. So first I wanna kind of show you the movements and then we'll get started. Sound good? Yay. All right, so first and foremost, we're going to get our balance and we're gonna do little forward leg lifts. Then we're gonna go to the side. Then we're gonna go to the back. Then we're gonna take that motion and sweep into a lunge. Oh. Then we're gonna come up into a knee hold. Then we're gonna go into an airplane hold. Oh. It's gonna be so fun. 30 seconds of each, then a quick rest. We'll shake it out and then we'll go to the other side, okay? So when we balance before we get started here, I wanna make sure that we're not locking our leg out. We wanna have a nice soft knee so we're kind of taking all of our muscles, incorporating, squeezing, 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 using that core to keep that other leg up. Are you ready? Great, let's do it. Start on one leg, find that balance, full foot onto the ground, and start those leg lifts forward. Whew. So, standing abs, that's what balance is. Really fun, really great. Now this leg is gonna also feel it. So you're gonna be like, is this a lower body workout? A little bit. But remember, we're going to squeeze those abs, soften that knee, so our abs help. Out to the side, are you ready? And out, out. Find that focus. Sometimes with balance, it helps to find a little bit of a focal point. I know that can be hard while you're following someone. So maybe you find a nice little focal point on the floor. I like to try and keep my eyes forward helps. Almost there after this first one. Ooh, 10 seconds. That foot might start to feel it. If you need a break, shake it out. In three, two, one. Now we go to the back. Now when I go to the back, we're squeezing not so that we kind of hinge the hip. We're staying nice and straight and tall, pelvis slightly tucked, and we're just squeezing that glute. Yeah, that leg is gonna really start to feel it. You'll feel a little bit of a break when we go into this little sweep. We got 10 more seconds. I'm gonna see if I can hop forward a little bit. Oh, oh, yes. That was just so that I can be ready for our sweep to lunge. Are you ready? We bring that foot forward. We sweep it around into that lunge. So this is kind of more about dynamic balance. So dynamic balance is while we're moving, right? It's typically our normal balance. You notice that I'm kind of moving and grooving a little bit. It's because I'm talking and not paying attention to my core. We're not all perfect all the time, it's okay. Now with that leg sweep, if you need to, kind of drag that toe or take little points in between. A-okay. You ready for that high knee hold? Ready? And up. So we're just holding here. We're almost done with this side. I know that leg is probably like, Yowza! You got this. Hanging out, shoulders are moving. You can challenge yourself a little bit more. If that foot is cramping, try to move those toes a little bit. In three, in two. We're going right into that lovely airplane hold. So we're gonna extend that leg out. We're gonna find it. If you need to just hold your hands here, that's okay. And bring the arms out. Now, if the leg can't be that high, that's okay. Maybe you're here. That's a great modification for this balance. You're still going to feel it. Maybe you can just do little leg lifts. Maybe that's more in your repertoire today. What a fun word. Ooh, we're almost there. Ooh, and rest. Luckily, when I moved my head, the timer was done. Oh, shake it out. Yes, that foot, I know. Lots of muscles in our feet. They're amazing things. Foam roll your feet, by the way. It will change your life. Or get a foot massage. Yeah, you heard it from me. 
Get a foot massage, it'll help your health. Let's go to the other side. Shake it out, shake it out. Woo! Ready? Leg lifts forward, oh my gosh. Now you might be saying, 15 minutes, are we gonna do something after this? Heck yes we are. We've got a little bonus round. Some of my favorites. We're gonna walk uh, like a, a tightrope. Tandem feet. Oh my God, it's gonna be so fun. Da, da, da. We're like the Rockettes. Da, da, ba, 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 ba. I know, I get distracted sometimes, guys. Okay, and now to the side. Just keep that knee nice and soft. Again, go with your range of motion here. You might be here. You might need to tap. I'll tell you okay. <sighs> balance is really important to train. I know a lot of times we think that training your balance is a little bit more for older adults. That is not true. It is good for everyone, especially athletes. So you'll see a lot of athletes working their balance as well. They sometimes call it agility, but agility is also focusing a lot on speed and balance as one. Oh, if you feel it, I'm starting to feel it in that leg. I need a little, shake it out. If you needed that, go for it. But this is why I love balance training. You're like, all we're doing is lifting our leg and my standing leg is working crazy. All right, let's go from this side. We're going to sweep into that lunge. That lunge might even actually feel nice for that other leg. Or you're like, what are you talking about? This is terrible. Whew. Again, if you need to tap, tap into that lunge, great modification. Sometimes our balance is not our friend in one day. Up to that leg lift hold. There are certain days where our equilibrium, ooh, especially in our inner ear system, can be off. If you have a cold, ooh, that can be really difficult. Um, I'm gonna shake it out and face you guys. So our balance systems, we have our vision, we have our vestibular, it's inside our inner ear, and we have our somatosensory right here. Ready for that airplane hold? Somatosensory, that's why when we, you know, have that feeling of like, oh my gosh, holding my ear helps. Touch system. It's actually really good. I'm wearing shoes, but it's great to do balance work barefoot. So you get the feeling from your feet, especially in the ground, like go on the grass and work on your balance. Woo, almost. I tried to look at the clock and be there for you guys. We gotta all challenge ourselves. You ready? <gasps> we did it. Yes. Okay, shake it out. We got another 30 seconds rest. Now, we're going into some tandem footwork. So, look at my feet here. Tandem means heel to toe. Again, still soft knees. Now, you don't wanna just put all your weight into your back foot. That's not tandem feet. You wanna equally balance your weight into both feet. Are you ready? From here, arm swings. Now, looking at this move, it does not look like much, but inside my core, crazy good ab work. Now, bigger arm swings, faster speed is gonna be more challenging. If this is really challenging, slow it down, or maybe we just hold. This can be really challenging. Now, we switch it. Other foot leads. Again, don't put all the weight into the back foot. Keep it even, I can feel pressure underneath my toes and heels on both of my feet. Knees are slightly bent. You can even add weights to this movement. Trying to keep it, core is in tight. Ooh, and rest, nice work on those. Okay, we're going to now go from a curtsy lunge, get a little oblique crunch. Here it is, you ready? We come down, come up, into that curtsy, into that oblique crunch. Whew. Whew. 
curtsies. It's just a slight step back to the side. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, go into that regular lunge and come up to that oblique crunch. I like a nice little curtsy. Ooh, working the sides of my glutes. Nice, let's go to the other side. Reach it down. This is our nice little bonus section, working a lot of our tandem foot position with a little bit of strength and core mixed in. Almost there, less than five seconds. Hand on that hip if you need to. Let's do one more. Nice. All right, shake it out. Quick one, lateral lunge. And we're going into a cross body crunch this time. Ready? In three, two, here it is. Lateral lunge, try and keep those feet in line. Cross body crunch. Reach it out, crunch it up. Now in these standing ab and balance workouts, you're noticing that basically balance is part of all of these, right? But so is core. So they're probably pretty much one and the same here. Oh goodness. Three, two, other side. Keeping ourselves nice and even here. Again, if you need a tap, separate those two movements. A-okay. Nice work here. We're gonna have a really fun challenge at the end, showing you how much your eyes help with your balance. Rest. All right, we're back to tandem feet, but this time we're gonna walk. Now, I'm not telling you that I'm helping you if you get pulled over by the cops, but technically, I am in a way. Are you ready for this? Here it is. Or maybe you've wanted to join the circus at one point in your life. You're like, tight rope walking would be me. Now let's go backwards. Oh, did you expect that? Ooh, I'm gonna add another challenge at the halfway point. We're gonna lift our knees up if we can. In three, two, high knee, right back, heel to toe. You gotta stay nice and concentrated. Notice that my arms are slightly out. That will help. A little counterbalance weight. Hands of the hips can help with a little bit of that somatosensory. Pose. Nice. Okay, last move, and then we're done with all about balance. Fun. Been fun. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. All right, we're gonna squat hold. You ready for this? In three, two. Okay, now I programmed a minute squat hold. This is gonna feel great, terrible, wonderful. Ooh, I don't know. But we're gonna be in it together. So when your legs start to shake, my legs will probably start to shake. But we're gonna add a little bit of a calf raise here. So I'm here, and now I'm going to lift up and back down. Lift up and back down. <sighs> Try not to lean forward too much when you're here. So you're trying to lift those heels right up underneath you. Ooh, great choice. I think it's a great choice. Oh my gosh. We have 15 seconds left. Can we do it? Of course we can. We're gonna hold, ready? Up, onto the tippies. Arms are out, core is in super tight for five, four, three, two. <laughs> okay, here's a challenge. Are you ready for this? We're gonna do a little mini calf raise with our eyes closed. Okay, are you ready? Make sure you have something safe near you, okay? Close those eyes and lift up and lower. 
Now, proprioception, being aware of yourself in space. I want you to envision your body in the space that you're in. That's gonna really help you. Now, last five seconds, we're gonna try to hold up on the tippies. Ready? Keep the eyes closed. Four, five, four, three, two, 15 minutes. You did it! Um, so, our vision, we rely on it so, so much. So, getting a little bit of practice with some eyes closed, even just standing with your eyes closed, trying to envision your body in the space that you're in, really helps to get you a little bit more body awareness, but it also helps in a way of strengthening your core because it makes you better at balance. So, if you enjoyed it, guys, make sure you like this video. Tell me how that eyes closed felt in the comments and be sure, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next standing ab series.